today's the day, guys, for the John Wick safe. Now, for those who don't know who the, what the John Wick safe is, it's based off the movie, all three movies, with the guns from the movie in the safe. Big and green, I call it the big green monster because it took seven guys to haul this thing in here, including a bobcat. All the gold is 24 karat leaf gold put on here by hand. The wife is a big fan of John Wick and she found out that there is a John Wick safe. She said she wanted it, so we did a lot of research. Finally found it through a friend and were able to get one. So we paid just a little bit over $100,000 for it. There was four made, we have the third one. Continental, the hotel, where all the assassins go to be safe. All done in gold leaf. The marble from India. And then the custom couch. You have the two Microtech knives. And of course, the bloody pencil. The famous bloody pencil. With two gold coins, real gold, that I guess came from the movie. All these guns were in all three movies. Most of them done by Terran from Terran Tactical. So none of these guns have ever been shot, not a single one. These are all basically safe queens, but today is the day we're gonna shoot them all. We're gonna do the MPX 9 millimeter, very lightweight, actions completely flawless. Sandpaper up front with the carbon fiber four in, the sandpaper, you will not lose grip of this gun whatsoever. Let's go give it a shot. Okay, next one is the Gleal. 7.62 by 39. Flamethrower in this conversion. Can't wait to try it out. Now, that's a fucking flamethrower. Okay, now the next one is the Desert Tech in 6.5 Creedmoor. This also has a Trigicon on it. Bullpup version, pretty accurate. I've shot another one similar to this at a thousand yards with no problems whatsoever. Just balls to it. Next one is the BNT. I have this one in the other room, but I have not shot the John Wick one, so we need to go try this one out. You guys know I'm a B and T nut. I need to take mine and make mine form one turn into an SBR with the stock and the foregrip and get the suppressor for it too. I'd like to shoot this in automatic, but maybe one day I will. Let's try this one out at least. Okay. Now, everybody knows, who knows anything about John Wick or Terran Tactical, knows that the Combat Master is the king, as far as I'm concerned. Nine millimeter, butter slide, just, just smooth as a baby's bottom. I mean, it's just fantastic. I think it's time to shoot this one. Next. AR chambered in 5.56. Now, very lightweight, 45 degree red dot with a one by six. I mean, you can't go wrong. Very smooth. The other Combat Master. The first one was made by STI. This one's made by Glock. Both of them are fantastic guns. Like I said, smooth as a baby's bottom. God, that's smooth. Slide release, I like the extension of the slide release for people with girl hands like me. You definitely would need that. Let's shoot it. Okay, his backup, we all know, and John Wick. Another Glock. I 
just wish there was a place for my pinky on this on this gun. I feel like my pinky's lost out there someplace. I don't like that part. But otherwise, with the texture, you know, it feels great. Okay, I'm a little stumped on this one. When I got the safe, they told me the white one, CNMG 10 millimeter white is in the movie. You have to pause it, I guess, to find it. I have not seen it. Somebody needs to show it to me where it is in the movie, but I can't find it. But you know, CNMG makes pretty good shit. God, I love 10 millimeter. It's my favorite caliber, especially in this platform. Next is a Scorpion. Great gun. A lot of people have shot these, but I haven't shot this one out of the John Wick safe. I do have another with a binary trigger in it. This one does not. This one's a virgin, never been shot. So let's go try it out. Next is the P30L by H&K. Nice gun, night sights, double action. Mag release is one of my favorites of all guns. Right there by the trigger. To me, every gun should have that, as far as I'm concerned. Nice counterweight so you don't get any really muzzle rise. Next, is the PTR, chambered in 308. Now, it does have a Spectre on it, which is my first one, I never owned one before. So, I don't know much about them, I need to do some more research, but very heavy gun, side charging handle on the side, on the front, made it with a pistol brace, but who cares as long as it's legal. PTR makes a good gun. The 308, of course, is just a boomer. The Spectre, I like the scope a lot. I'm gonna have to get me more of those, just to try them out. Okay, next is the Glock 19 by Terran Tactical. Nice flared mag well, nice mag extension. The grip is phenomenal, but this is the same one I use as my concealed carry. This is my truck. If I carry everywhere with me, you can't beat it. So let's go check it out. Clock 19. Like I said, it's my personal carry and a combat master. Taryn knows how to build guns. Especially, I just love that sandpaper. Next is a PS90. Now, she's a 5.7 caliber. I guess you can call it a sub gun. I don't remember seeing this in the movie, and maybe it was, and I just didn't catch it. I'd prefer to get one with a shorter barrel, but the 5.7 is such a fast, mean round. Benelli M2. This thing is a Ferrari, I think, of shotguns. Some other people may not think that, but Taryn really went crazy with this shotgun. I mean, this is smooth, smooth, smooth. I cannot wait to shoot this gun. Let's go find out. Holy balls, Batman. Double out buck. <clears throat> Doesn't feel too good <laughs> when you're not ready for it. That's my own fault. But what can you say? The gun's phenomenal. Next, Benelli M4. And by far my favorite shotgun of all. Grips the same as the other one. Butter, action. I mean, you can't go wrong with this gun. I mean, it's just by far to me the best shotgun ever made. Next is the CZ P09. I do not have, own this gun. I don't have a double of this one. So I definitely need to shoot it. Threaded barrel, raised nine sights for the suppressor. I mean, CZ makes pretty good guns. I mean, I can't say anything bad about them.
I like it. Um, slides a little awkward to me, but that's just because I'm not used to it probably. Thread a barrel, you can't go wrong there. And then the um, raised sights for the can. Overall, very gun that this is a little wide to me, but maybe it's just because it's me. But otherwise, I like it. It's easy, great gun. Holy shit, guys. That is the best shooting I've ever had in a long time. You cannot beat these guns. If you ever get the opportunity to shoot one of these, you better buy it after you shoot it because you'll regret it if you don't. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the subscribe and like button, and we'll see you in the next one.